Can I have something to play with? Yeah. What do you want? Let me stop. Oh, we can actually try that. You want to try it? Nope. Ah. <laughs> Do you want to try it? We can try it. This is electric powered and it's used for mixing paint. So it's a handheld. Which is quite paint, ironic. Paint spinner. It does have some attachments. It does. So it's got it's got adapters. Okay, these are rubber soft adapters. It's these spinning. Are for adapting different shaped bottles. Okay, so it is actually um, you need to powered. Go, we're going to need to you, go to overhead town. Oh, really? Let's take a closer look at this. All right. So it's USB charge. It's got rechargeable battery inside it. It's got a switch on the bottom. So let's see if we can get that focus a bit better. Eh? Oh. That's the switch. That's the switch. Yep. Oh, oh. let's take a photo. <laughs> oh, my God. You're an <laughs> animal. You're an animal today. We're going to keep that forever. First, we're not going live. Then we're going live. Then I don't know. What do you mean? Okay, and you've got your little square adapter on the end to take any of these. Oh, oh, oh! Did you hear that? These adapters. It now. has speeds. No, no, no! It's a slow shutdown. No, no, it has speeds. No. I can promise you it has speeds. Are you sure? I promise you it has three speeds. All right. So what do we do? Stick a paint okay, in so there. Okay. So we got we got oh. this paint here. I'll show you what this is about. This is the some new crackle paint as well. And stick this in the end. That's the wrong end. What do you mean? You sure? Did you stitch me? Try this one. This will work. Will it? Am I doing it wrong? There you go. All right. So it's attached. Yeah, and then I and push then the you button. mix it up. Slow. Woo! And then it does a slow shutdown. Because particularly with these style plants, oh, because they they fueled quite quite a lot, it's very difficult to. <laughs> we don't want to be attacking people with it, right? So if you're using it normally, you'll be fine. And you'll notice that we've got it mounted; it's upside down. So this allows gravity to. To get the heavy pigments to actually flow naturally down and also as i was saying before because these bottles are actually quite full it's normally very difficult to mix them if you just shake them because there's not much void in them to move around and it wouldn't be aerating the paint like i hate doing yes that's right you know so I mean? air bubbles and stuff that's why we give it the you know, japanese swirl yeah <laughs> that's right instead of the you still remember that instead of the Me spray can instead of the mexican backhand that's it okay so you notice we've got the really big bottle in there but because the small bottles use the same caps, you can use the small bottles in there too. But we've got adapters here, which would take the Tamiya type paint and also other types of tube paint here as well. Very easy just to swap it in and out. You hear that? Consider yourself shaken. There you go. And it says doing all this. That's it. I get tired of doing that. Did you enjoy that? So that is the paint. I actually call it paint shaker. I did have different speeds. Three speeds. Oh, well, there you go. I like it. That gets a Brett tick of approval. Yeah. So these sets here as well, we started getting these paint sets, which are the green stuff acrylic color paints. And they're all themed. So this particular one has urban camo. Urban camo. Urban camo. So it's a sort of blue tones, blue and light grays. What about here? We've got winter camo. So this would be the light um you know the the snow tones and then also the greens oh yeah we've got de desert camo which would be the the ochres 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 and what about here we've got a forest camo so you've got the brighter greens but there's all lots of different kinds of um, sets that's just four that i picked out do you have any from mid-autumn mid-autumn maybe we'll go and have a look if not i can customize one for you is that something you do for everybody? Oh, not for everyone, but because I don't want to be seen come mid autumn. <laughs> <laughs> you want to disappear? That's right. It won't be hard to figure out. That's right. All right. So apart from that, so these are the bottles that we used in the shaker before. This is a new crackle paint. Crackle. So crackle paint in is what used application for would you use crackle paint for doing um, dried desert or riverbed 
Ah, uh, I know. Futures. I know. I'm got a picture in my head now. Yeah, you pictured it? Like a like a dried out riverbed. That's right. Yep. Yep. So you got all that crackly effect. So that's what this paint does. It's pre-colored, so it's got a, a particular base. This particular one is mud crack, so it's a lighter brown. And then we've got Badlands. It's like a dark, uh, almost like a charcoaly color. Got a reddy color, which is like a Martian color, and they call it Martian. What's Martian? Martian. So like Martian sand is red. Oh. So if you're doing like a tabletop games with Marsh, Martian type soldiers and stuff. Oh, I was thinking of like, you know, like people from outer space. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. On Mars. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then there's a Winterfell plane, so that'll be like a, a snow effect. But yeah, it'll give you, you could different mix types them. of. You could mix them. You could mix them, and they'll give you a different crackle effect depending on how quickly they dry. So the quicker it dries, the smaller the crack. The longer it dries, the larger the crack. Big crack. Yeah. So the best way of doing this is really simple. You just paint your your base surface a contrasting color to the color you're going to use. Yep. So that when it cracks, you'll see that base color come through. Very cool. So crackle paint, and then we've also got all the dipping inks in stock too. So. This is actually a set. I'm looking forward to this tutorial. Yeah? Yep. So dipping inks. So inks are a very popular um, medium used in tabletop gaming. In traditional really modeling. Printing. Uh, different kinds of inks. Are they? Yep. So the traditional modeling um, we use what we call washes. So it's a thin paint. Mm. So inks are actually transparent and they work like a wash. And a dipping ink is actually a little bit thicker so that it can sit on the figure and the, sit in the details easier. Seems quite niche. Is it quite niche or is it something that a lot of people use? A lot of people will use. So the idea of these is to try to make your painting quicker. So you dip or you brush this particular ink over it. So this is giving you... So can you explain to me, if we go to Overhead Town, Yes. can you explain to me, just change cameras for the people at home? So, if you could just explain. So this to me. is showing the effects of the different colors that are included. So, but if you see all the darker areas, yes, all the darker areas is where this ink has pulled. Okay, so imagine if you just painted a whole slather of paint on this, or you actually dipped it in. When you pull it out, the ink itself, because it's transparent, is naturally going to flow away from the high surfaces and end up in all the valleys and the crevices, and that's how it naturally gives this shadow effect. That's how it's really quick. Rather than trying to brush paint all these parts in, it's already giving you the effect just by dipping it. I really like limelight. You like that one? Okay, so that gives you a really nice contrast, right? And by using all the different colors, it will give you different effects. So you could revolutionize nail painting just by dipping your finger in. You could. Don't know how I'll do it, but they, theoretically you could. So this these would be a lightly painted figure first. So it's probably in a light gray. That's why the highlights are quite light. And obviously, with a darker dipping ink, it's more pronounced. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. But there's a whole heap. I think there's like uh, 30 different colors if you want to buy them individually. Beige primer. Yep. Applied dipping inks. Yep. Use dry brush. Yep. And then it's finished. So basically, what you're doing here. Oh, so you don't actually dip it. You paint it on. Well, you can paint it on. If you paint oh, it on, well, you've got more control. But you can dip it as well. Oh. Urgh. Urgh, that's right. So there's quite a few different. Urgh. There you go. Here we go. So that's a few of the new green stuff for things. GSW in the house. Did I forget anything? No. I don't think so. That's everything. No, I'm really excited by the flock box. There you go.